Hello, welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. From increasing jobs and the economy to immigration reform, Congressman Mark Takano is here to talk about his priorities for the year ahead. Welcome. Well, thank you. I'm glad to be here, Leslie. Um, how do you uh, grow jobs in the economy? Everyone throws it around, grow jobs in the economy. But what are the fundamental things that you think need to happen this year? Well, fundamentally, you know, what I've done uh, uh, so far is we've made sure we've preserved any kind of funding coming to the district, uh, $75 million in uh, transportation dollars, uh, a grant uh, that extends the Metrolink uh, from Riverside all the way out to Paris. So, um, you know, uh, that's uh, it was a part of a $250 million construction project. Uh, my office had a great hand in saving that funding. Um, we're doing whatever we can to make sure we bring in dollars uh, uh, for veterans. We have the eighth largest veterans population in the country and so uh, there are, you know, every in which way we can sort of bring in deserved benefits that people are entitled to, we want to get that money flowing into our economy. Long-term unemployment insurance, another flow of, of money that comes into the community, uh, $300 a week times 40,000 people here in the Inland Empire. Uh, that's money that goes into our local businesses. How do you wrestle with the delicate balance with uh, providing for people who really need it and uh, keeping people motivated to go out there and be resourceful and uh, create jobs of their own? Well, I, you know, I don't think it's a question of balance. I think, I think what we need people need to remember is that we just went through and are still coming out of the, the deepest, uh, you know, recession that we've had since the Great Depression. Uh, the long-term unemployed are people in their 40s and their 50s who've never, in the first time in their lives, have been without a job. Um, and our, our whole job market's gone through some heavy restructuring. So it's taking people longer. Um, people are not lazy. They're not sitting at home uh, twiddling their thumbs. Um, but uh, it's going to take a while before we uh, retrain them. Uh, and re job, so talk about that. Uh, job retraining, uh, focus on... Uh, uh, I can't tell you, I've visited 100 businesses and, um, uh, around the, uh, my district. Uh, what comes up a lot are uh, jobs that are available but people lacking the skills to fill them. Uh, so there's a skills gap. Uh, jobs that exist but uh, getting those people trained. So that one of the fundamentals is making sure we also train people for those jobs. Uh, one of the other things you've been talking about <clears throat> is uh, immigration reform. And yes. some people say that immigration reform, while we welcome you know, hardworking people and people who have been here for a while, that it really does compromise uh, people who are jobless in this economy. Have you weighed the, uh, the cost compared to the, uh, the contributions? I have, the weigh I have weighed this in. And see, here's the thing. Um, I, it's an error to think that um, immigrants take away jobs. The fact is, the 11, million, the 11 million people in this country that need a pathway to citizenship, to earn their, no, not, not an amnesty, but an earned pathway, uh, they're not taking away jobs. They are, many of them are already working. Most of them are already working. Uh, to take those 11, 11 million people out of the economy uh, would hurt the economy um, and would create a, a worse economic situation. Most financial analysts and economists agree that passing comprehensive immigration reform will actually grow our economy by an additional 1.5 to 2 percent a year. Uh, that's more wealth, that's more, that's actually job creation. Let me give you another example. Uh, Tom Mazzetti, who owns Blue Banner um, Citrus uh, Packing House in Riverside, uh, he wrote me a letter saying that the grapefruit growers that he deals with lost over 2.5 million dollars because the grapefruits weren't picked in time. Uh, they had to be go to the juicers instead of going uh, fresh to the market where they can fetch higher prices. That's $2.5 million outside of our economy. I multiply that over many times on other agricultural products. That's a heck of a lot of money that California is losing. Um, that's an example of what, what can happen uh, if we don't pass immigration reform. Unfortunately, we're out of time. Thanks. Thank you so much for being here.